All right, so we're gonna make some uh, really nice vegetarian pasta, cavatelli carota. I'm just salting some water right now, which we're gonna use for uh, making zucchini ribbons here in a second. I wanna get that kind of dissolved now. So it's hot water, not boiling, and about a tablespoon of salt. It's about a liter of water, half a liter of water. So just enough to cover your vegetables. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some carrot chips started. This will take you about 40 minutes in the oven. So I've already peeled some carrots. So we're doing it with a knife, very careful. You're going to julienne that kind of thickness. Now, if you don't have a steady hand to me, like I said, you can use a slicer. You can use a peeler if you really want to. That's not a problem at all. Peel it, it'll be a little thinner. Watch cooking time. We're gonna spread these onto a tray here. These are our chips. We're gonna go in the oven at about 500 degrees, 450 degrees. I want them to crisp up and blister. Just a touch of salt. And then keep an eye on it, like I said, this, you're kind of like, you want to start off real high, we're going to lower the heat as it starts to uh, brown on us. Next thing, since it's also the longest part of this dish, take some uh, nice grape tomatoes here, can of pasta, olive oil, give a good little roll, season, really liberally right here. This is going to help them blister. And then, don't need to chop up the rosemary, because what's going to happen is the rosemary is going to uh, brown and char and it's gonna seep into the oil on the tray, which is gonna get into our tomatoes. Now we're gonna make our pasta sauce, which we're making out of carrots. Carrots have a nice sweetness. They're lacking a little of that tartness, but we kinda of want a, a rich pasta. We're gonna steam carrots in a pot. I'm just cutting as thin as possible. The smaller you do, the faster it's gonna cook for you. I'm gonna do one more half carrot. Nice little pot, one and a half carrots total. We're just helping with olive oil, probably about two tablespoons here. This is going to allow it to steam, not catch in the bottom and burn because there's a lot of sugar in carrots. If I was doing a creme carrot, I would do this with cream. A little seasoning, a little piece of parchment paper. This is going to allow it to stop forming a skin on the top, but allow moisture to leave it so it kind of reduces steams. Next thing, we're going to prep some of our garnishes. Got a nice zucchini here. Put up the end here. Is that Captain Corelli's mandolin? <laughs> Some nice thin ribbons here. It's going right into the salted water. This is going to make the color pop. It's going to make it more malleable. This dish is all about bright colors, intense flavors. It's submerged, broken up. You can see how flexible they're already getting. See, it's already starting to kind of cook. And that nice fat. The water is going to slowly evaporate. We're going to be left with pretty much just soft carrots and olive oil. That's why I've done it right. So you can see what I'm talking about. Tomatoes starting to blister. Looking just beautiful. Almost there. Carrots, I'm going to turn them down now. It's got the color I want. They're starting to dry out. I'm lowering down to about 300 right now. We're going to let it sit until they get a nice dry out carrot. That's kind of it for now until everything's cooked. So now about seven, eight minutes have passed? I'd say about six minutes, yeah. See how bright color that is? I can just almost mash it all up. We're about, about a minute out now. Tomatoes. Nice char, we're gonna let them cool down. Just beautiful color, blistered. That rosemary oil is soaked into all of them, so I actually got a really good punch of rosemary. I'm getting what people have a blender at home. This is anything. not what you'd have at home. Yeah, so you can use this in a blender. This is a whole part Roboku. We use this for a lot of our hummuses and dips. And we got it. I'm just gonna get loud here for a sec. Needs a little bit more water. I can take off the lid and show you in a sec here. Add a splash of olive oil. Basically, I'm almost like making carrot olive oil butter. So that's not quite there yet. We're gonna keep in that blitzed up. Now, if you don't want to make this vegetarian or vegan, you can add butter or cream, make it more rich. So I've added about a third of a cup of water so far. There you are. Nice carrot puree. I kind of want it a little textured. This will be the cream for our pasta sauce. So I'm assembling some of the sauce down now of our puree.
This is going to be a nice little base to put all of our cavatelli in. Now we're going to make our sauce here. Get the pan warm. Add the olive oil. Splash of uh, our make pasta water. And our tasty carrot puree. Once this gets nice and warm. A little bit here. You start getting a little color in here now? A little, a little bit. I'm starting to get a little bit of, not burnt, but just char, you know? All right. Anything else, you just slowing yourself down. It's two ladles then. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to grade a little bit. Each one is probably about like a third of a, probably a quarter of a cup. And what I'm trying to do is look for it to be thinned out just enough like sauce. Yeah. See how that's kind of like having to come together? I'm going to whip it more actually. I just want to get enough in there that I keep it from being too thick, but also don't want to be so thin. I want to coat the noodles really well. Salt. Like $10 for, that's like $10 worth of pepper then. Yeah. Now from here, if you want to add Parmesan, delicious. Or if you use one veggie friendly, but when we go finish one of our own individual plates with Parmesan. But here's, a great, here's the time you'd add some cheese to fold this into it. Now this acidity is going to really help pop with all those carrots. Now these are nice and brined, so you'll soft and flexible they are. And I don't know if you noticed, I like to work in odd numbers. Something got drilled into me from years in restaurants. Odd numbers look better on a plate. I don't know if it's true or not. Our carrot chips. Olive oil, finish a touch of cracked pepper. A little crunch. Bright, fresh. You wouldn't believe there's no butter, no cream, and no cheese in that. Delicious. We're gonna dive in, but before that, we're gonna add some cheese. <laughs> There you go.